Hello everyone, I'm Lloyd Barwick and this is Gin Opinion. Now we've just got back today from a very windswept visit to the Isle of Wight distillery on the Isle of Wight here on the south coast. Um, and you can see the video of that visit on our channel. But uh, today we're going to review their three gins, so watch the intro and I'll be back in a moment. Now, the first gin we have from the Isle of Wight distillery is their Mermaid Dry Gin. Now, this is a London Dry Gin, although it doesn't say it on the bottle. It has a traditional basket of London Dry botanicals, so everything's in here, cardamom, coriander, grains of paradise, orange root, etc. But they have three outstanding locally foraged botanicals also. So, um, Rock Samphire from the island, um, Bodicea hops, which they get from the botanical gardens in Ventnor, and elderflowers, which they forage themselves from the local hedgerows. So, a great London dry, lots of botanical flavour from those 10 botanicals. Um, and the gin now comes, and it has done for the last six months, in their fantastic new bottles. Um, these are stunning, they look lovely on the shelf. We know a lot of people who are buying this gin and making lamps from the bottles when they finish. Um, now, the bottles are made in Italy. Um, they are printed in Poland. And all the materials, the glass, the, the, the coating on the bottle, the seals, the corks, all of the, all of the ingredients are biodegradable. All the parts are biodegradable. So, really good um, green credentials from the Isle of Wight distillery. And the bottle contains a really outstanding gin too. Um, it's, it's a great London dry, very versatile. Um, their signature serve is with a Mediterranean fever tree uh, and a slice of lemon. So a, a, a cracking London dry, just, just, just a, very good, a very good gin. So there's our first gin from uh, the Isle of Wight distillery. They're in Pondwell on the Isle of Wight and they are attached to the Wishing Well pub. So if you're on the Isle of Wight and you fancy a visit, you can go to the pub, you can drink the gin, they do a vodka, a rum and a whiskey, and you can watch the distillery in operation through the glass panel. But if you go to our video we, we took today uh, uh, at the distillery, you can see all that for yourselves anyway. So there we are, Mermaid Gin. And our second gin from the Isle of Wight distillery is their Mermaid Pink Gin. Now, this is a new gin from them. It's only been available for the last few months. Again, it comes in their beautiful new bottles. I'm told now that this is actually Murano glass. Um, so again, the glass comes from Italy. Uh, it's, it's printed in Poland with a Portuguese cork stopper and a fully biodegradable cap. So very green credentials. Now, um, they told us at the distillery today that this is the uh, Mermaid Dry Gin. They uh, take uh, Isle of Wight strawberries. They make a strawberry juice. They put the juice into the gin and then they redistill re the gin. Now, they do redistill the gin obviously, but then they must add some more juice because the gin is actually pink. So the pink colour must come after distillation. But it is a beautiful strawberry flavour, not too sweet, very fresh. Um, and their signature serve for this includes um, ginger ale. Now, we were, we were stunned. We, we know that ginger ale goes very well with quite a few gins, especially the rhubarb uh, uh, flavours. But Isle of Wight assure us that ginger ale goes really well with their pink gin. We haven't tried it yet, so we're going to, and we'll, we'll let you know what we think. But... Great gin on its, in its own right. Um, lovely summer gin if you want a fruit gin. It's, it's glorious, so give it a try. Mermaid Pink Gin. And our last gin from the Isle of Wight Distillery is HMS Victory Navy Strength Gin. Now, um, this, is, this is fantastic because they make this in conjunction with the National Museum of the Royal Navy. They are the only people working with that uh, organisation. 
and if you buy a bottle of this gin some of the proceeds will go towards the restoration of HMS Victory. Now there are several unique tie-ups between this gin and HMS Victory but I'll tell you about the gin first. Um, it's navy strength obviously at 57%. It's, um, it's their mermaid dry gin um, with the botanical flavours upped um, to obviously um, suit the navy strength and it is super smooth. Now we have gin discovery evenings here um, about every two weeks and we have a crowd of gin fans in and we always put a navy strength on the menu. Whenever the navy strength gin is Isle of Wight HMS Victory, it's always the gin of the evening because this is a super gin just to sip. Now, you can't sip it all night, of course, but if you just want a beautiful spirit that's lovely and smooth with lots and lots of flavour, um, this, is, this is the one for you. Makes a lovely gin and tonic, um, but again, it's 57%, so don't sit and drink this all night or you're going to suffer in the morning. Um, so there we are, HMS uh, Victory Navy Strength Gin. One other thing I must tell you about it is Isle of Wight Distillery commissioned four oak barrels. Now, uh, in conjunction with the uh, Royal Navy Museum, some of the staves in those barrels were uh, wood taken from HMS Victory. Now, the barrels were laid down with, with the gin and they have released one barrel per... <coughs> oh, sorry one barrel per year for the last four years. I think they're on barrel number three this year. Um, and I think there's a maximum of 215 bottles only. And if you'd like to buy a bottle, they come in a fantastic oak box. Uh, and hopefully we'll put some pictures on the back of this video to show you the, the presentation box. It's, it's stunning, it's outstanding. Um, and you get a bottle of HMS Victory gin inside that has been in barrels that have oak from HMS Victory. Now, if you want to buy one, currently the going rate is £345. Now, they are available from the distillery. There aren't many left, so if you want one, get in quick. But if you want a spirit that's also an investment with a great story, a lovely history, um, I suggest you treat yourself to a bottle of the HMS Victory uh, limited edition gins. So there we are. You don't have to spend all that money if you don't want to because the gin uh, in the standard um, HMS Victory is, is outstanding. So give it a try. If you want to try a Navy Strength gin, this is one we wholly recommend.